What's up YouTube? Welcome to Wisewell, where we dive into all things personal finance. With the new year around the corner, I wanted to spend today's video talking about five of the best dividend stocks on the FTSE 100 to invest in for 2021. We'll look at each stock individually, their current dividend yield, payout history, and why I think these are some of the best investments to make for passive income on the London Stock Exchange for 2021. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new posts. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. So we all love a steady stream of income, especially one which requires no effort in return. So why not try and maximize that? How much can I get passively from my investment? What are the best stocks that I can put my money into that provide a high return? Dividends are never guaranteed, but there are things we can look for to ensure we get a good return on our investment. So first on this list, we have BAE Systems. BAE Systems is a defense, aerospace, and security company. As of this video, they're currently trading at 496 pence per share. The annual dividend in 2020 was recorded at 23.2 pence per share giving it a dividend yield of 4.68%. BAE has an impressive track record of maintaining and increasing its annual dividend for the past eight years consecutively, with only a temporary drop in 2011 interrupting this streak. There's also a healthy dividend cover, meaning how many times the dividend is covered by income of 1.9. That should provide investors with comfort that dividends can continue to be paid out at the current rate. In November of 2020, BAE announced they had secured a substantial £2.4 billion contract to supply the UK government with munitions that would ultimately sustain about 4,000 British jobs. Along with this, the general consensus throughout the financial industry indicates that BAE is significantly undervalued, with JP Morgan seeing a potential upside of 50% for the firm. BAE pays dividends to shareholders biannually on an interim and final payment date. Secondly, we have Aviva. Aviva PLC is a UK-based holding company that provides life insurance, general insurance, and asset management products and services. As of this video, they're currently trading at 328 pence per share. The annual dividend in 2020 is expected to be 21 pence per share, giving this share a dividend yield of 6.4%. Aviva recently rebalanced its dividend payout policy due to a 14% decline in new business for the first nine months of the year. It said that payouts would rise by mid-single digits in the coming years. This prudent approach tells us investors two things. Firstly, Aviva is protecting its core business by limiting its payout ratio to investors while providing a vision for expected dividend growth. A current yield of 6.4% is very attractive and would increase gradually over the coming years. The dividend cut is unfortunate for existing investors, but still among the best available. I featured Aviva in my 2020 dividend stocks video. The link is in the description below for that, and this year it makes the list once more. At the time of that video, the company was trading at 245 pence per share, meaning it's seen a healthy rise of over 33% since then, and still has a potential for more room to run. In July of this year, Aviva announced that Amanda Blanc had been appointed Chief Executive Officer of the group. Her strategic vision has already been evident, with the company selling off businesses in Asia and Europe to focus on growth nearer to home and enhancing long-term value for shareholders. Aviva pays out its dividend to shareholders biannually on an interim and final payment date. Number three on our list is National Grid. National Grid is an energy company providing electricity and gas to consumers. The company operates through three segments, UK electricity, UK gas transmission, and US regulated. As of this video, they're currently trading at 873 pence per share. Not only is National Grid a great investment for dividend investors with a current yield of 5.56%, but it is also a relatively stable defensive investment with little volatility. This also means investors shouldn't expect significant growth, but the high yield should prove enough reason to invest in National Grid. What's more impressive about this equity is that National Grid has a monumental track record of over 20 years of consecutive dividend growth 
year on year. This puts it in exclusive company of only a few companies able to do this. Ofgem, the UK energy regulator, recently announced that UK energy utility companies such as National Grid will be capped on their returns to shareholders, which will have an impact on future dividend payments. But the move is intended to be closer to current market levels, according to Jonathan Brearley, chief executive. I think another great reason to invest in a company such as National Grid is to aid in the mission of achieving net zero emissions by 2050 that the UK government has set out. Sustainability is at the forefront of many industries, and I believe investors play a huge role in that. National Grid pays out dividends to shareholders biannually on an interim and final payment day. Number four of our top dividend stocks is GlaxoSmithKline. GSK is a global healthcare company. The company operates through two segments, pharmaceuticals and vaccines. It is now currently trading at 1,369 pence per share. With a strong current dividend yield of 5.84%, GSK provides investors with another terrific defensive equity in a sector that has little volatility. In order to build a diversified portfolio that performs well in multiple market environments, Pharmaceuticals gives us that defensive edge. GSK had increased dividend payouts consecutively for 15 years up until 2015, where dividend growth has stopped. But at a yield of nearly 6%, it's understandable why. The dividend cover is 1.55, which is fairly well covered, but approaching the 1 to 1 ratio is something to be aware of. GSK pays out dividends to shareholders quarterly, the only one on this list to do so ensuring a more frequent payout of passive income for us investors. Last but certainly not least on our top dividend stocks at number five is Tesco. Tesco PLC is a large supermarket operator engaging in retail, banking and insurance services. And as of this video, they're currently trading at 227 pence per share. With a dividend yield of 4%, Tesco provides us with a solid return on our investment that is once again stable in nature and in a company that's diversified across various industries. Tesco has been relatively unaffected by the recent market downturn, with many consumers continuing to shop whether they be in-store or online. The firm invested heavily in its delivery workforce to serve the home delivery market and saw healthy sales as a result of this. So much so that Tesco said it would repay £585 million of business rates relief to the UK government. This gesture was well received by investors and others alike and put pressure on competitors to follow suit. I think Tesco has shown real leadership in the industry in doing this. It's received bad press in the past for some unsavoury accounting practices back in 2014 and this should help mend its public image. A move into a more positive market sentiment should be a catalyst on the way back to consecutive dividend growth that it had seen up to then. Like Aviva, Tesco has sold international segments over the year to focus on growth at home, which should maximize value for shareholders. Tesco pays out dividends to shareholders biannually on an interim and final payment date. So there you have it, five top dividend stocks to look at in the UK on the FTSE 100 for 2021. The current optimism in the market provides us with a great opportunity to invest in these large, stable companies that offer great returns in the form of dividends. Let me know in the comments below if you have investments in any of these companies, or if you think there are any other noteworthy mentions to include on a list like this. These videos take a lot of preparation, researching and editing to create, so I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more content and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. Thanks for watching today, I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, see ya.